was there a final straw for you to be like, I am just done with Amazon and their their crazy practices? Like what what was the transition for to you be doing that? Honest, um it wasn't one thing to happen with a product specifically. Like in 2016, I was invited by Amazon to, I was, you know, there's a little marketplace that they call have merged by Amazon inside and they have print on demand. And I got, I got really good at it. And they invited a group of six people. They called us the golden ticket people. They invited us to Dallas and we went to their uh, wood facility and we went through whole the printing process. And what they wanted us is to first try to understand us, the users, and trying to get our feedback on new product development. And and we got some perks, to be honest. I mean, we were the first one to got pop sockets and stuff like that. So I got I got relationship with the, you know, with the vice president of, you know, of production, operational finance, and all this stuff in that specific division. And so like every time they would go like to conventions, they would call us and say, hey, we're gonna be in XYZ. So, you know, you can come, we can meet. So they went to the branding expo on Vegas in 2017. And, and when we were there, um, I approached, you know, the vice president and said, dude, um, my sales are low because you have no control of quality, you know, on who is entering. We have a keyboard staffing issue, stuffing issue now on Amazon where you have thousands of the same design with the same exact keyword. And even if you go in, you cannot outrank them because it's no way to outrank the same keyword when there are thousands of keywords mm -hmm. in there. And he, the answer that he gave me is the one that told me I need to get out of Amazon. It took me about two and a half years to finally get out of Amazon. But he tells me, you, the, the sellers are not our concern. It's the, it's the consumer. Mm -hmm. Right. If the consumer is getting what they want, I don't care. We have a thousand offerings. If in the first page of the offering, they find what they want. We don't care if you make money or not. Yeah. And that you know, is actually the truth. Amazon from the very beginning of Amazon was all about and still is today about their customer. And yeah. unfortunately, Amazon views their customer as the consumer, the end user of a product. Un but what they need to know is that we, as sellers, are actually more consumers than their regular consumers. And that's what I told them. Dude, I spent thousands of dollars every month on paying you for services, for fees, for storage, for transportation, for logistics, for disposal you know, mm -hmm. for claims, for whatever the reason it is, I spend thousands of dollars and I have friends who spend millions of dollars, you know, and we are your, your customer. And he says, no, you're partners. Yeah. And I'm like, no, we are not, you know, because we are not sharing the profits. You know, we are, we, you, we follow your rules and, you know, to him, it's like, no, you do the, the Amazon mentality. You are partners. You are not consumed customers. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. And that's when I finally said, you know what? This is not potential for this. And I was doing, so I still, and it was until the pandemic that I couldn't find absolutely no product that I was like, you know what? This is a perfect time to stop doing retail arbitrage. I use Liquidate. And I said, I use, I use Liquidate. Mm -hmm. I lie. I'm still liquidating. Yeah. <laughs> I still get boxes in my garage and i'm like oh my god i still have this mm -hmm. um so it's it's a never ending but around that time is when i started going into into it etsy mm 